I'm doing this video in response to some of the comments that I've had on one of my other videos on how to get your mirrors set up. What I prefer to do is to see some of the side of our car. Not a lot, but some. And I think it gives you a perspective of where you are in relation to other people on the road. There are a few comments that people think that you don't need to see any of your car and that you need to set your mirror up so the side of your car is not visible. What we're going to do is try and have a look at the pros and cons of both. First of all, we're going to have a look at setting the mirror so you can't see any of our car. The main reason for this is to eliminate blind spots and let's have a look and see how it works. Because of the camera I'm using, the view that we see is a little distorted, but I'm sure you'll get the idea. By setting the mirror this wide without seeing the side of our car, you get to see more of the van. And as you can see, you can see the van both at the side of you and very well in the right door mirror. Makes sense. So, setting the mirror this wide does help reduce, maybe eliminate, blind spots. I get it. But, I do have a problem because you can't judge actually how far you are away from the van side to side. And this is the problem with setting the mirror in this way. The next problem is this. If you're driving a vehicle that has a restricted rear view, perhaps because of passengers sat in the back seat, or maybe of what you're carrying in a boot, or maybe the vehicle itself has no rear view, how can you see where that van is? Is it even following us anymore? I'm sorry, but setting the mirror this way just doesn't give you enough information. Ah, the van is still following us. Let's have a look at some parking now with the mirror set in this way. Now with the mirror set how I would set it. You can decide for yourself which you think is an easy way of doing it. But the deciding factor for me as well, the first park with the mirror set too wide took an extra 10 seconds than my park with my mirror. And I only realised this was the case in video editing. Now, let's have a look at the mirror set in the way that I would set it. My first point is to highlight how much space we have around our car. This can be seen clearly set in the mirror in this way. Look at our gap from the white line for example. The 
The main reason to set your mirror so you can't see your car is to eliminate blind spots. But have a look at this. Even with the mirror set in the way that I would like to set it, and even though the camera that I'm using doesn't give us a true perspective on things, I promise you that you can still see the car next to you and in your right mirror if you have the mirror positioned correctly. Look how much more information I've got with the white car following me, with my mirror set in this particular way. I can see exactly where it is, what it's doing, even if it did have some passenger sat in the middle of my back seat obstructing my view. For me, it's a no-brainer. I'm also not so pig-headed to think that this way of setting the mirror is going to be suited to every country around the world. I have driven in North America and the roads are a lot wider, so therefore there may be certain benefits of setting the mirror in a particular way in a particular country. I get it, but in the UK and most places I've driven around the world, this is ideal. Please let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.